Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy's Promo, and today is December 21st, and Samsung just pushed out the latest software update for the Galaxy S20 devices. Now, some of you may see this update here, which is the December 1st patch, and some of you, let's say you have the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra or the Galaxy S20 Plus, maybe even a Galaxy S20, you might even see the Samsung One UI 3.0 update. Now, this update that I have here personally, this one's one that just brings in that December 1st patch. It's right around 233 megabytes with the software version ending in CTKJ. Now I was really hoping that the moment I saw this one was starting to download, I was really hoping it would be that Samsung One UI 3.0. So even if you don't know if you have this update or not, always take a look. I've been taking a look at all of my phones probably three or four times a day, just looking for Samsung One UI 3.0. And at least for the S20 on this personal device here, this one's the Galaxy S20 unlocked with the AT&T SIM. Uh, this is what I found just probably about 15 minutes ago. Now, if you don't know where to look for these updates, what you wanna do is go to the very top, head inside of your settings, and then on the very bottom, what you wanna do is take a look for software update. Now, the cool thing, if you do have Samsung One UI 3.0 on the very top, you will have this little pop-up. So if you do have the option for automatically download over Wi-Fi, then you might see something popped up right here, which is actually pretty nice. Other than that, you go all the way down to software update, then you go to download and install. This is where it searches for it, and then you're able to download it. Now, what we're gonna do here is we will get this one downloaded. Then I did write down the versions of the fingerprint reader, the facial recognition, as well as camera, messages, and internet. So we'll take a look at those five manually, but I also have another application to take a look to see if there's any other applications I missed if those got a newer version update. Now, when you do these updates to download and install it, just make sure that you are connected to a stable Wi-Fi connection. And it's usually right about now that I always state that if you're brand new here for the first time at Jimmy is Promo, or maybe you've been here multiple times and you like watching all these videos, you find out that these tips, tricks, and tutorials definitely help you out. And especially getting the information on these latest updates, usually right around the same time that I always find these updates, I always shoot and upload these things. Make sure you guys hit on that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications so you get notified for all future videos. Now, once this thing turned on, then we'll take a look to see what is new and if there's newer versions. Now that the software update is done and complete, let's take a look at those five applications manually. Then let's go inside of my APK just to see if it found anything that we weren't able to find. So first off, when it comes down to the camera, if we go inside of the information, now over here, what I have written down is 11.00.0.0.9.1. This one is 11.00.0.0.9.1, so that's gonna be the exact same version of the camera. Then we went inside of Samsung Messages. So let's take a look at this one. Uh, so what I originally wrote down was 12.00.0.2.2.1. So it looks like this is the same version. Then let's go inside of the Samsung Internet. Uh, and then inside the Samsung internet, let's see. And also too, sometimes these updates don't really update applications. It does a lot of things on the back end as well. Uh, and it might even open up the door for future updates that would be popping out here in the next couple of days that you'd find inside of the Galaxy Store. So for the internet, uh, the last version was 13.029, uh, 13.029. Now let's go inside of the biometrics and security. We're gonna take a look at the fingerprint reader and face recognition. Now this screen will look a little bit different than yours. Yours is actually just sitting right here uh, for the security patch. So I have to go inside this extra screen. So originally for the fingerprint, it was 5100. That's the same thing there. For face recognition, it was 2006, same thing here. So it looks like that there's nothing brand new for at least those five applications that I took a look at. And now let's go inside of my APK. Let's see if that found an update for any other applications that we weren't really able to find. Um, so it looks like, uh, so I downloaded this my APK. Uh, here was one for Hohem. This one was just updated right after this thing was finished. So it looks like this one was done, but this is just a third party application from the Play Store. So that just kind of happened on the back end. Uh, nothing new there. So this should actually be showing us everything. Um, so you, you can actually just take a look at the system apps if you wanted to. So it looks like all of these were updated around the 18th and 19th, so it's definitely not today. Um, but again, you know, a lot of the stuff is just gonna be back end. How about we just go right back inside really fast inside of the Galaxy Store just to see if there's anything here. Uh, again, this is something I do with every single update just to see if there's anything that we can find since Samsung never tells us anything that is brand new. So there we go, really nothing going on there. Maybe Samsung had to push out this update to the people that were running on the beta version because this one is beta, Samsung One UI 3.0. Uh, or maybe it's a way for the upcoming, you know, public release of Samsung One UI 3.0. Uh, if you did get the update before me, let me know. So then other people would be able to take a look as well. But again, I've been searching every single day since December 1st 
because usually they push out these updates the first five days of the month. This one was pushed out pretty late, 21 days into the month, giving us finally that December 1st patch. But I hope you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe right over here in the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later. Oh,